raise your hands, let us know you'd like to ask a question. We'll set an embargo part way through for 10.30 on Sunday evening. You can take some hands, please, guys. Can you hear us okay? There we go. To Andrew Dillon, when you can hear us, please, guys. Andrew Dillon. I'll try Paul Rowan. Paul, can you hear us? Hello, Pep. Hello, Hi. Um, you must be delighted with that performance today, Pep, are you? Because we won. Yeah. Oh, the, na the nature of the performance. Yeah, with well, the rule brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing to say. So because we know exactly which which team we face tonight, how good they are, strong. The build up with the four um, is so so good, and after they put a lot of players there to run them behind, they're a fantastic team. Um, Incredible important victory for us to climb some position in the table for our mood and our momentum is not good up front because even sometimes we could not control the game. They were able to they were able to score a lot of uh, we had enough chances in the second half in a contra attacks to score more goals, but it's not our momentum. But the back four were brilliant, Rodri and Gundogan as well. So yeah, good good victory for us. Andrew, can you hear us now, or still not? Can I just ask you another question while you're doing that? Yeah, go on, Paul. John Stones is, is was uh, excellent as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Excellent. He's back. He turned he turned his situation perfectly. He played really really well with the Ruben as well. So both Mick and Kyle and Joao, all back forward were so so brilliant defensively because it's not easy. They have a lot of players there. And he's no easy. We've got to Rob Draper, please, guys. Um, Pep, it's been a while since you've beaten a side in the top half of the Premier League. So do you feel that the form is coming back and that, that you are now going to get into your stride and hit the top four? No, position is try to win games, to be uh, up there as quick as possible and as close as possible on top of the league. But the reality is our momentum up front is not good. So we not much in the first half, but the second half we could finish close the game and 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 we could not do it. And that's why that's why we are we are continuing a struggle I think this season until we don't break the situation to score to score the goals. But uh yeah maybe one day we block the the players come back in better form and we can and we can do it. Go to James White, please guys. Sorry James, I think you're on mute, mate. James, I think you're on mute. Hi, uh, Pep, can I go back to John Stones? You said that he had turned his situation around perfectly. He was really, really brilliant today. What has he done to turn that around? Himself. So because the, it's the, maybe the first player we signed when we arrived here five years ago for, for a little more than four, five seasons. Um, and he knows exactly what we have to do, what he has to do. So unfortunately, we couldn't do it in the previous years, but now he has done it and he was himself. And he settled perfectly in his private life, was so important, no injuries. And, uh, and he get her regularly and show his personality with the ball, without the ball, winning duels. So, yeah, we are the light. We are the light and, and especially because he's an incredible nice person. His mom and dad must be so proud uh, how nice person he is. And uh, his daughter has a, a top father. So, and that's why when the nice guys and always are in his situation, in the good moments and bad moments, helping the team, the people is close to him. We are more than delighted that he can leave the situation. He just, in the beginning, he has to continue. He has to 
be in the right position and continue doing what uh, he has done to do this season. Jamie Wade, please, guys. Hello, Pep. That was your first experience today of being back amongst fans. Um, did it surprise you how noisy 2,000 fans can be? And do you think it's an unfair advantage that some clubs are going to get that noise and others like yourself aren't? Listen, uh, we are delighted to have these fans back. So it's much better to play with 2,000 people than without. It's not, it's not uh, about uh, unfair because they have and we don't have. So only we will love everyone's come back to the, you know, to the, to the, to the stadium, all the teams. We will love to have our fans back in all the stadiums. But of course, there is advantage for one side for the other one. But here, the important is that welfare for everyone. So all around the world, people still dying for hundreds, few hundred every single day for this pandemic situation. So it's not solved. So they have to still social distance, mask the protocols, not just here in the world football and everywhere at home, because it's still there. So, and that's why we cannot say this is fair, not the fair. It's difficult sometimes to understand why in this area can be fun and the other ones cannot when the, all around the world, the situation, the virus is there. But I think maybe the government or, or the scientists, they have another reason that I don't know it, but uh, we are going to do what the people say. Andrew Dillon, we'll try your last time before the embargo. Can you hear us okay? I can hear you. Sorry, Andrew, we can't hear you and I know you're not on mute, so I'm not sure what we do about that. Guys, we'll call the embargo for 10.30 this evening.